Hi everyone, this is a family craft. We are making a sheep for springtime. And um and have your adults help for the faces for because it's going to include scissors. I'm going to pass it off to Miss Brenda. Hello everybody. Today all you're going to need for this craft is a piece of black construction paper, a white piece of um, paper plate, some cotton balls, some regular wet glue, googly eyes, and a pair of scissors. Kinsale is going to start by she is gluing um, cotton balls to this plate. We are cutting them in half or tearing them in half so that they go a little bit farther. You can make them full or you could tear them into small pieces. So can say I'll tear for you. You go ahead and start gluing. Um, after I get these torn for her, then I will show you how to make the face. It's very simple. Uh, you go ahead and work. So she's just dunking it in there. Don't need too much on them, but she's gonna do cover that whole plate with cotton balls. <laughs> Don't worry about that one, we'll get it later. There you go. Or pick it up, that's perfect. Thanks, Kinsale. All right, so while she is doing that, let's see, we should have a couple more here, and that will probably be enough to cover that plate. While she is doing that, I am going to cut out the face for this. Um, it basically is kind of a oval shape for the sheep. A little lump on the top. Oval shape. Bottom like that. So there's his face. Actually, I think that's way too big for this one, so we're going to make it a little smaller. You can kind of really think about where it was going there. Obviously, this doesn't take a lot of precise cutting, but you just want something that's going to cover up a good part of the face, or of the plate over there. Then you're going to cut a couple of oblong shapes for ears like this. Make sure you know where your eyes are going to go. So we're going to have a couple of oblong shapes like this for the ears. Do another one and I'm just going to cut over my first one so they come out kind of the same instead of having two very different ones. So just two of the same. I could have folded my paper in half and done it that way. That probably would have been more efficient and definitely make them the same shape. So anyhow, here's a couple of ears for my sheep. The ears and the face doesn't have to be perfect. It no. could be however you cut it. All right, so in a minute, she's gonna put those ears onto that face. I'm also gonna cut out four little straight legs. And this time I am gonna speed it up by folding it into quarters. Again, you can see how perfect and perfection that you really need to do it. And just cut about, probably about two and a half, three inch long legs, like that. So we are gonna have legs like this. Yes, we do, looky there. And then here are our ears, and here is our face, like that. Kinsale, gonna need a little bit more glue there. Keep going, you're almost there, girlfriend. All right.
can see this is not a really long craft and it certainly is um, uh, age appropriate for really young ones too since you do the cutting over here. All right, so Kinseo is gonna take her face and she's gonna glue the ears to the side of the face like this, okay? So uh, you could use this glue right here. Just dunk it in and stick it right on, okay? This you wanna one. use that one? Yeah, That's this fine would too. actually be quicker. All right, you do it anywhere you like, but we just are going to put it on the back of the face, actually, is where this is going to go. Mm -hmm. We're going to put them right on there, and then we're going to turn it over and put the googly eyes on the front. Very cute. It's going to make a great sheep. And it's almost spring. It, you guys might know it's getting warmer outside. It sure is. And I hope you guys have like plants to plant and have fun. Can you put on those outside. googly eyes? Are these the peel off kind or the glue kind? These are the glue kind. So I would use your glue over there, but you do it any way you like, Kinsale. Perfect, that's beautiful. Throw those right on. Oh, that's already looking good. Let me just wipe a little bit of glue off his eyeballs. It is Elmer's glue, so it should dry clear anyhow. There you go, Kinsale. Beautiful. You want to wipe your hands off there. Very, very good. I think you got it. Now we want a big chunk of glue on the back here because it's going to go stick on that cotton ball. So you could just set it down, give it a couple of little pushes. All right, put it on your plate anywhere you like it. Right in the middle, beautiful. How about we tape some of these feet onto the back like this, okay? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. On both sides, two on each side, unless you want a three-legged sheep. That would be silly, huh? Beautiful. I wonder what you guys are going to be doing for spring. I, if you want, you could like do. Maybe you're going to put flowers, or maybe you are going to plant vegetables or fruits. Mm. Maybe go to the park and have picnics. Good day. Nice. And see how that looks beautiful, nicely done. Maybe go swimming in the spring? Yeah. All right, can you pick up your sheet and turn it to the camera so everybody can see how wonderful it turned out. We hope you have fun doing your sheet craft. I know Kinsale did a great job. You will have fun as well. Can you say bye? Bye, and I hope you guys have a fun time.